All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Hall. If you've never been here before, I do product and travel review videos. Um, today we are going to be doing a product review video for the Rivian uh, crossbar. So the crossbars can go either on, on the top of the truck or over the bed. So I'm actually gonna be installing mine over my bed because it's a little bit easier, especially when recording. Um, and yeah, so we'll take a look at them. So they just came in the box. I just opened the box up. I didn't know what they were, if they were my mats or they were my uh, crossbars, but they are my crossbars. So uh, let me show you what they look like and inside the packets, let's do that. All right, so this is what they look like right outside of the package. So they're actually quite heavy. Uh, they're packaged up nice. There's two of them in here. So let me get them unboxed and let's see them outside the box. All right, so we have everything unboxed. I have them uh, sitting next to the access points here. I figured out how to get this, uh, this one in, so I'm gonna show you how I did it on this side as well. Um, inside of the package as well, your two keys come in a, um, I don't know, a tan colored kind of folder. Make sure mine was facing down, so I couldn't really see it. Make sure you don't throw this little package out. This should be in your box, but it will blend in with your cardboard, but it'll have a little Rivian sticker on it. So that has your keys uh, to lock your, your crossbars, so. Just a heads up. Okay, so all you have to do, here, let me pull you in closer here. Get Vader out of the way. Move Bubba. All right, so all you have to do is kind of get your width right, which I can go that other side, but you wanna, this little, uh, there's like a little metal clasp under here, and that's what hides the, hides the key and you wanna pull that up and then you actually wanna keep pushing up. So you wanna push that tab and you'll have that click and you set it in and then you wanna push that back down. It should hear a second click. So that should be, and then you can also lock them. So that locks that in. And then there's a key under there and you can use your key and it has uh, horizontal is unlocked. If we put this in here, maybe. Yes, so vertical should be locked and you should not be able to pull those out. So if I go here, I'm trying to push that tab up. I can't push that tab up. So that means we're locked in place and I just have to do the same thing on the other side. So what you wanna do, grab this metal tab that shows where the key goes. You push that up, that's a click that opens up those jaws and then you push it down in, I'll push it down in low and then push that, uh, that little flap back down and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two sides. All right, yeah, so they can be installed, you know, in less than two minutes, if you know what you're doing. Uh, I would make sure you keep the keys to unlock them inside of your truck somewhere. Pull you up here a little bit. Uh, so definitely keep the keys with you. Like they said, they can go on your bed and on your roof. Uh, I do want to try both to see if I get any whistling because normally with crossbars, you get some whistling. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, aerodynamic uh, setup, if it has any whistling, because when you put them on your roof, you can usually get whistling that you can hear in the actual cab. So. I'll have to test that out here in the future too as well. But uh, that's your setup, you know, your instruction guide, your two keys as well. I may put a little like carabiner or something on them and put them in my truck um, so they don't lose them. But yeah, lockable, people can't take off. They have nice, nice grooves. I think I'm gonna be able to, you know, it looks like decent plastic, rubberized plastic in there, but I'm probably gonna beat them up uh, pretty good. Oh, the lighting's terrible. Anyway, yeah, all good. Uh, so those came in. I'm still waiting on my rubber mats to come in, but uh, I'm glad they came in. They add, they add a nice, uh, nice accent to the white and to the, the black tonneau cover. So and tonneau cover still works around them. That's all I got. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. So uh, right after, so doing, I have the, uh, the racks on the bed in the back and I'm doing about 50 miles an hour. Absolutely no whistling. Uh, I don't hear anything nothing of the sort, nothing like you would normally hear. Obviously I don't have them. You can actually see them in the reflection, so you can believe you can believe me. <laughs> I had the windows down as well, similar speed, 45 miles an hour, and no whistling either. So I can't hear, I'm at 52 now, 
still can't hear any type of whistling from the crossbar. So at this point in time, um, they haven't made any noise now. I don't know, uh, you know, highway speeds, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour. Mine on my Jeep usually started whistling around 50. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to test to compare but they also aren't above my cab, so I'll have to try that at a later date, but I just wanted to give you some information. Over the bed, um, 50 miles an hour, I hear absolutely no noise, no whistling, or windows down or windows up, I got nothing. So, great so far. All right, thanks.